How's it going everybody? Coming to you today on the T-Dub. Taking it out for a little spin. Nothing really hardcore or crazy. Just going to be going on a quick little ride. Uh, going to be going up the mountain to visit my parents. And uh, going to hit one or two of the trails along the way. Now, the low water bridge may be an issue up here. So, I'm hoping that uh, it's dropped some after all this rain that we've had. But, hey, you're side of the road, pal. But if the low water bridge is high, I'll have to go a different route, which means different trails than what I have planned for today. So, we'll just have to see. I just got off of the uh, Trail 125. So, I'm going back to a clutch and back to shifting. And uh, it always takes a minute whenever I switch back and forth between them. The uh, Trail 125 feels much lighter and uh, more nimble than the TW, but the TW feels much more substantial and much more like an actual motorcycle or dirt bike as opposed to a scooter. So each one has a different feel to it. It's really, I mean, it makes sense because they're different motorcycles, but it's really uh, compelling how much of a difference there is. I'm also trying the uh, extension here. Oh, I missed the that shouldn't be too bad. It's a little high. There we go. The uh, controls are all so much different. I keep missing the uh, foot brake and I keep missing the uh, shifter yeah the trail it feels much more like a, a scooter uh, that, than this does. This feels like a proper dirt bike, motorcycle, dual sport, whatever you want to call it. They uh, are both pretty awesome. They both weigh about the same. They both have about the same seat height. The uh, 125 is a four-speed semi-automatic. This is a five-speed manual. They're both a lot of fun. I'm still getting used to how far I can push these factory tires on uh, dirt and on, you know, leaning into corners and actually I'm still learning everything about the motorcycle to, to be completely honest. And I've only done about, I don't know, 120 miles, 130 miles on the bike. It's hard for me to get a feel for something that quickly. Oh, I felt that try to wash. I knew it would. I uh, still 
haven't got my front facing or back facing GoPro, my handlebar mounted GoPro. I still haven't got that one fixed yet. Hopefully by the next time I'm able to go out, I'll have the, uh, the mount back or a new mount in stock. I should not in stock. Goodness gracious, I can't talk. Hopefully by the next time I go for a ride, I will have the new GoPro mount for my handlebar in hand. That way I can go back to putting this guy in cool other positions instead of looking back. And hopefully it doesn't look too bad up there the way it is. hoping it's making usable video looking back and be able to use it looking forward too it's just I really like that side shot where I've got it kind of down low and off to the side I think someone online called it the chase car or some shit like that anyway it looks good For factory exhaust, the TW is a little loud, but it sounds good. It's got a good ring to it, or a good tone, I guess. A good tone, yeah. It's just it's a hair louder than I care for. Absolutely beautiful day today is. Too bad I gotta go to work tomorrow. I'd love to just ride until until I had to go to bed. A beautiful day out. So far I'm averaging about 75 to 76 miles to the gallon on the T-Dub and about 95 miles to the gallon on the Trail 125. Similar riding styles. similar riding conditions. Where's that trail at? There it is. the trail. Got a pretty good hill climb here. Nothing rocky, just kind of steep. It's got some rocks at the top, but ain't nothing the old T-Dub can't handle.
go. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. Tried to wash out on me. Tried to do it again. It's slippery out here. All that rain we got. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. I hope so, because I've been fish telling like crazy and saving it. <laughs> ah, I really hope you got that. Oh shit. Yeah, it's soft out here right now. You can't get any speed going. Somebody came up here and rutted this all up. It wasn't me. Oh, goodness. I'm gonna try to get over here out of all of that water and muck. hate driving through water. I just picture wheel bearing replacement in my future every time I do it. Like, yep, that's new wheel bearings. Several people out climbing today.
Boy, the T-Dub is a lot of fun. <laughs> I'll be glad when I get used to the tires so that I know how hard I can attack some. Not that I'm a heavy duty hard charger attacking everything like some people, but you know, there's some guys out there that are absolute badass riders. I'm not one. I just hope to get to where I can be like, oh yeah, I can do 30 here. Or yeah, I can do 40 here. This is going to be the end of my real quick trail ride on the TW200. Uh, the first video of me riding it. I hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope it's entertaining for you and hopefully I'll be able to get my uh, camera situation straightened out for you by the next time so that I can give you an extra angle or two to look at. So, Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.